Man vs. B Review, Rowan Atkinson channels Bean and Baldrick in his new slapstick sitcom. The actor is at his comic best as an accident-prone house sitter who goes on a rage spree and destroys a high-tech home in an epic battle. Rowan Atkinson's latest comedy bristles with life lessons. You cannot hope to trap a bee in a grand piano. Bees, as we know, are already endangered, so don't microwave them. Should you find yourself in a mercy dash to the vet with a comatose dog, don't get distracted and remove your shoe to swat a bee inside the car. If you have managed to destroy a Mondrian while trying to hammer a bee, repainting the red patch with tomato sauce won't fool anyone, same goes for using old CDs and triangles you've cut from roller blinds to restore a Kandinsky mobile you hit with a tennis racket. Man vs. B, Netflix, replaces Nicolas Cage's The Wicker Man retool as my favorite bee comedy. You remember what happened at the end of that movie? Nick, allergic to bees, has his head shoved into a portable beehive. No, not the bees, he screams. Not the bees. Aof. I was still laughing about that days later. Atkinson, by contrast, is intentionally funny in all nine episodes of this sitcom. Atkinson, with his writer Will Davies and director David Kerr, realized that comedy is not tragedy plus time, but stuff plus idiot. Man vs. Beat could just as readily have been called Man vs. Himself or Man vs. House. Atkinson plays Trevor, a man fired from Asda after an altercation with a trolley and from an office after winding up on the losing side of a battle with a shredder. His wife has divorced him and his daughter yearns, perhaps futilely, for daddy-daughter bonding on a camping trip to the Isle of Wight, proving that strangeness runs in the family. Trevor is not the go-to guy to look after a house with voice-activated security systems and a manual so thick that, rather than a tennis racket, it should have been the weapon chosen for a protracted B smackdown Julian Reintut and Jing Lucy literally phone in their heroically grotesque performances as appalling holidaying homeowners who chillix poolside in monogrammed espadrilles, calling the man they've stupidly entrusted their pad to in order to find out if their assets, an E-type jag, priceless artworks, cupcake the dog, are still intact. Meanwhile, their pristine house ends up destroyed in a rage spree with flamethrowers. B, naturally, isn't so much as singed. I've always felt, I now realize wrongly, that Atkinson's best comedy was verbal and that Mr. Bean and Johnny English were chiefly of interest to the lucrative dimwit demographic. What I should have appreciated is the continuity of Atkinson's oeuvre. Blackadder's violent nihilism, Baldrick, believe me, eternity in the company of Beelzebub and all his hellish instruments of death will be a picnic compared to five minutes with me, and this pencil is replicated here. So, is the Man Out of Time vibe of Atkinson's Inspector Fowler from a thin blue line, appearances, as we shall see, are like bus timetables, often highly misleading. That said, there is one vital change, here, Atkinson has become Baldrick. When he gets bitten while stuck in a dog flap in the middle of a bee chase while wearing a magnetic collar for reasons that make no sense, he looks surprised, as if his cunning plan has unraveled. But, really, what did he think would happen? I'd have given this series 5 stars, but for two things. First, the bee is woefully undercharacterized. What is its motivation? Are we to take seriously the implicit claim that male bees, ousted from their hives, are homeless and friendless and so this one is just seeking shelter and company? If so, why does it torment Trevor? The only explanation that makes sense is that it is furious about the continuing lack of bee representation in entertainment. Think about it. Jerry Seinfeld played the titular insect in Bee Movie, The Simpsons' Bumblebee Man was a human mutant who set Bee Liberation back decades. You can't be what you can't see, especially if you're a bee. Second, product placement is unremitting. For instance, all the preposterous houses state-of-the-art gizmos are supplied by that German electronics company whose name sounds like the French word for honey. I'd like to believe that's some cute beer-related gag, but it seems unlikely. This article was amended on June 24, 2022. An earlier version described Will Hughes as the writer-director of Man vs. B, the director was David Kerr. We have a small favor to ask. Millions are turning to The Guardian for open, independent, quality news every day, and readers in 180 countries around the world now support us financially. We believe everyone deserves access to information that's grounded in science and truth, and analysis rooted in authority and integrity. 
That's why we made a different choice, to keep our reporting open for all readers, regardless of where they live or what they can afford to pay. This means more people can be better informed, united, and inspired to take meaningful action. In these perilous times, a truth-seeking global news organization like The Guardian is essential. We have no shareholders or billionaire owner, meaning our journalism is free from commercial and political influence, this makes us different. When it's never been more important, our independence allows us to fearlessly investigate, challenge, and expose those in power. Rowan Atkinson returns to slapstick comedy in Man vs. B trailer. Rowan Atkinson returns to the slapstick genre in Netflix's trailer for a new series, Man vs. B, as a house sitter challenged by a pesky insect. Rowan Atkinson makes his long-awaited return to the slapstick genre and debuts a new character in Netflix's Man vs. B trailer. While most famously known as Mr. Bean, the wacky silent protagonist of the hit 90s show of the same name, the English comedian has appeared in several other films and franchises. Outside of Mr. Bean, Atkinson has proven himself a successful comedic frontman in projects like Blackadder and Johnny English. The actor will now make his streaming debut in the comedy series Man vs. B. Netflix has just released the show's first official trailer ahead of its premiere date on June 24, 2022. The video opens with Atkinson ready to be prosecuted in court for a number of alleged crimes when he blames Amir B for his woes. Flashing back, the chaos that is depicted shows the insect in question wreaking havoc on house sitter Trevor, Atkinson, who only wants to get rid of the pest. Check out the trailer below, Atkinson reportedly dislikes playing Mr. Bean physically, noting the stress and exhaustion the role demands, the actor is now 67 years old, but Man vs. B certainly appears to feature the kind of slapstick physical humor that made him famous. Perhaps channeling the hate-fueled persistence of the wannabe vermin killers of Mouse Hunt and Walter White in Breaking Bad's masterful episode Fly has convinced Atkinson to give slapstick another go. What will be interesting to see is how Man vs. B uses its 10-episode format to tell such a straightforward story as Atkinson returns to slapstick.